All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. Not only do I have a fantastic detailing product line, but I also am a pro detailer. So I've decided to take a few more jobs than normal this season, if you will. Um, I'm not necessarily testing things. I'm just uh, setting things up a little differently than normal. And uh, as you can see, I've got my 99E150 Ford van and uh, got my redneck AC in there, but man, it might look funny, but it is awesome. Uh, so I camp in this van pretty regularly. We pull a jet ski and a, a small motorcycle down to the Keys a lot uh, and pretty much all over the East Coast. Uh, this van has actually been all the way up to Portland, Maine and all the way down to Key West uh, multiple times. but. I'm, uh, this is part one of a series that I'm going to do where I'm doing a build out on this van. Now, uh, as far as the van goes, like I said, it's a 99 E150 van, nothing fancy, definitely nothing fancy, but it's a good solid van. Uh, I've had it for a couple years now and it just works. And if you follow what I'm doing, if you're in Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation, it's a group on Facebook. Uh, where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I've got going on, you'll know that uh, this equipment that you see right here is uh, what I'm pretty much going with uh, to basically offer the new one system at detailjuice.com to my customers. That is, that's the only line of products I'm, I'm using in my own professional detailing business. Uh, with, with that said, I am going to use a couple of products like the Infinite Cut, Infinite Finish, uh, and my gel coat, or I should say my Marine series, uh, I'll be using that stuff as well. But the one system is what I'm focusing on these days. So I've got my Briggs & Stratton P2200 generator there. That one is brand new. I literally just pulled it out of the box, added the oil to it and some gas and started it up. So that's a brand new unit for this uh, mobile detailing rig I'm about to build. Uh, you can see I've got some wood here. I've got all my road hazard crap there that I've got to find a new uh, place for. Uh, I always keep all kinds of good stuff in there. That's a battery pack, uh, extra chairs, fishing pole, uh, a water hose, sledgehammer, first aid kit, extra blankets, and all kinds of stuff. I, I, I carry all kinds of stuff for every situation. Anyway, what I'm going to show you in part one is you can see I've got all my stuff basically that's all the big equipment i don't think there's anything else that's big uh, i am going to be putting a tank in there but i'm going to show you that i'm actually custom building a tank so anyway that's for another part of this series this like i said is part one and this is me showing you uh that this uh six gallon porter cable pancake compressor that I recommend for air injection. Uh, it, it's a hundred bucks. And the cool part about it is, is exactly this. It will run with no problem on that generator. I'm going to show you that now. That's, this is actually part one of this series. And I'm going to show you this. All right. It's running. Now this thing does have eco mode, which will basically throttle it down until it needs more juice. Um, you don't want to do that with this com with any compressor. They just draw too much power. So you want to keep it on full speed ahead. I've got it plugged in. Now you're going to notice when I turn it on, it's going to stress the compressor very little and it's going to run it. for all the noise but that's the beauty of this setup that is plenty for air injection uh, I have searched and searched and searched you need the two regulators the one that's actually on the unit you see that it runs now turn it off it goes back to normal I'll hit it again that that generator has no issue at all and I would I would I'd be willing to bet that any 2,000 watt uh, generator is going to be able to handle that pancake compressor no problem. So anyway, we've got that. 
And um, that is the heart and soul of air injection. You got the one regulator here and then you'll put another one by the gun. But I'll, I'll do all the demonstrations on how this will work once I get the build done. Uh, I'm not a fan of trailers. I've built lots of trailers uh, in the past. And uh, while they are awesome, if you've got one car, <laughs> I've got a lot of cars. So <laughs> uh, this, this van happens to be my work van. And um, what I just showed you is not even half of my vehicles. It's, it's ridiculous. So you pick one to go with. Uh, and it doesn't really matter what it is. If it's too small to run this equipment, well, uh, you probably need to buy a bigger car because this is not a lot of equipment. And once you see my, um, my tank situation I'm going to show you, uh, you're going to be like, wow, um, you don't need a trailer. So you don't. I mean, and that's, that's the reality. Uh, this is not all the stuff, but this is, uh, like I mentioned before, part one, trying to figure it all out now. Um... If I didn't already have this van, I would probably buy either a City Express from Chevy uh, or a Nissan NV200, uh, which is probably what I'll end up buying uh, just because I'm actually starting a, basically a route to deliver products and whatnot. So uh, that would aid in that, but also it will be far better fuel economy than this 4.6 liter V8 produces at the seven and a half miles per gallon I get with this big old beast. Uh, but it's very utilitarian, very functional, and it serves its purpose as basically shelter and or a house while I'm camping. So I'll deal with the fuel economy for the size. So anyway, uh, this generator will actually also power that uh, air conditioner. So this is part one. I just wanted to show you that the generator powers that compressor. Um, I've got a bunch of other crap I got to put in the van. But, uh, and then you can see I've already pre-cut all my wood. Uh, now, I was using that wood for something else. This actually was laying around in my garage. It's actually cut perfect because it was for something else for the van. Uh, it was actually... When you lay that seat down there, that turns into a bed this way. But this way, it's yeah, I'm five six, the girlfriend's five seven. Uh, so even this way, it's it's a little bit cramped. So we've been sleeping this way, and I built this as a platform for our feet down there. However, it was a little bit too big. So what I'm doing is I'm going to build a new platform for the back right here that will hold all of the gear and then offer a shelf on the top for more gear. Uh, but I'm going to build it uh, to the size that I need to be able to remove it from the back and all the gear and then transfer it to the front to be uh, foot support for the uh, longer bed. So that's the plan. Uh, you don't necessarily need to do it like that or even like this or any of this. I just want to show you how I'm doing it because it uh, seems like a lot of guys want to know what I'm doing these days and what I'm doing is big things. So this new one system is going to be amazing. It launched a couple days ago. Uh, it's been a quite overwhelming uh, response to uh, just w people wanting the new system. Uh, I completely appreciate that. And if you guys follow my stuff, use my products, the new one system truly is the best of the best. Everything I release is always better than the last thing I released. And I spent a lot of time, I spent about eight years just developing the range, expanding the range, and making sure that I have all the holes filled in the detailing situation. Uh, and I can't, because I'm switching to a new system, I can't take away what I've already put out for people to be using for years. Um, there are already thousands of people around the planet that are using my other products. So uh, the products will stay. Everything that's on the site right now will, will definitely stay. Uh, but I personally am switching to the one system, which is what I recommend you switch to because it's the best of the best and the easiest way as an enthusiast and a professional detailer or weekend warrior, every end of the spec spectrum can benefit from the one system. So I'm going to go ahead and get this all straightened out and in part two, I'm going to show you more of the build and organization, but that is it. That generator runs that compressor. That compressor, like I said, was $99.99 on Amazon. I bought mine from Home Depot because uh, if it didn't work, 
uh, for what I needed it for, I would have been able to take it right back to the store with no hassle. Whereas if I would have ordered it on Amazon, they would have made me pay to ship it back if it sucked. However, it does not suck. And for a hundred bucks, that's a hell of a deal for all of the benefits of air injection for, from, you know, spraying on your pre-soak for the Gary Dean wash method, uh, uh allowing yourself to use a uh, small gun like this to apply your uh, universal dressing for your tires um, or the interior uh, or even uh, spraying on the old, the uh, universal clean and prep which is the new uh, one one system product uh, for interior cleaning exterior cleaning it's like IPC but far more concentrated it is also stronger per the dilutions than IPC but beyond that it has that priming catalyst that makes uh, my uh, all of my protective products bond better, which means they last longer and do their job better. But beyond that, uh, it also has all the stripper technology from the other stripper products. So you don't need any of those. You can just buy one product that does it all now. And that is the universal clean and prep, which you can spray out of this. In fact, when I use the universal dressing, uh, out of this gun, or even the, uh, the universal coating uh, can be applied with this gun. When I use those, I will clean the gun out with the universal clean and prep, not acetone as the uh, manufacturer recommends. However, I haven't had any issues. It is what it is. So, um, I got that Briggs & Stratton P2200 on Amazon, and I'm pretty sure they go for around 600, 630 bucks shipped to your door if you're Amazon Prime. Uh, the Honda, can't go wrong with a Honda, but these days you can't get that Honda for less than 1100 bucks. And you can buy two of these for that price. And I would consider this Briggs and Stratton. I've had these for years. I bought and sold them, bought and sold them. I've never, for the past few years, I haven't been a full-time detailer per se. Um, I am getting back into it regularly now. Um, I want to, I want to not be that guy that talks about how well the one system works in a professional detailer's hands. I want to be that guy that not only talks about it, but can show you as well. I'm more of a proof is in the pudding kind of guy. I've been implementing the one system and those packages for years. If you'd notice uh, those packages on my site, detailjuice.com under the Gary Dean detailing um, tab, they don't really change much. Um, I change what you use with them as far as products go, but the packages don't really change. Uh, they stay the same for a reason, because they work. They are proven to make money and proven to cause far less, if any, confusion at all for my customers. So that's where we're at. There's part one. I'm going to get on doing more for part two. Thanks for watching, guys. If you got a question for me, just... Uh, Either text me, 813-846-4406. Uh, check out Instagram at gary.dean.35. Uh, and then obviously you can find me on Facebook. Thanks for watching. Check out part two.